Today, I'm going to show you how to set up the time delay on a K.2 loudspeaker. Sometimes, in larger audiences, it's necessary to set up additional loudspeakers that are further out into the audience so that people in the back can hear things clearly. Well, when you do this, and you have loudspeakers that are closer to some people than others, the audio from the speakers that are closer are going to reach the ears of those people before the, the audio from the loudspeakers that are a little bit farther away. When this happens, you end up with an echo effect, and the audio becomes a little unintelligible, and it's just really annoying. So what you need to do is delay the audio coming from the loudspeakers that are closer so that it gets to everybody at the same exact time, and you have no echo effect, and everything remains clear. So the first step in applying your time delay to your loudspeakers is to calculate the distance between your delayed loudspeakers and your main loudspeakers. Once you have this distance, you can go to the back panel of the loudspeaker and apply it very quickly and easily. Let's take a look. On the back panel of the K.2, use the wheel to scroll to the delay option and use the select button to select it. On the delay setup screen, the delay is expressed in milliseconds, feet, and meters. If you've measured the distance in feet or meters, you can simply enter the measurement using the wheel and the appropriate amount of time delay is applied to the loudspeaker automatically, up to 100 milliseconds. And it's as easy as that.